So look, we have oh, some yeah. big carrots and we have some little tiny Good carrots. One. Loosen it up and let's see what we get. Oh, we almost got it. Oh, pull that out. What'd you find? A pig. Wow! Is, are these like hidden treasures in there? Yeah. Let's see, was it you that didn't have a turn either? Them. Are you ready for a turn? I can smell them. Let's see them. if we can dig these up and pull them up. It. Oh, that's a beautiful flower. Oh, thank you. A lot of Look at these food. carrots. We're going to wash these and eat these coming up as a little snack. For pulling once she does. Let's yeah. see. Get it yeah. in and loosen that up. There, and then I'll pull that up and see what happens. When I lift that out, what'd you get? Carrot. Wow, nice job, you guys. Thank you for helping us harvest these things. I think we have enough that we can wash these and you guys can eat them. And you want to come wash yours too? Let's use your hands to really get the skin off. You're going to scrub that dirt off. Here you go. And you guys will be able to eat it. And you want to use your hand to scrub the dirt off? We'll kind of get that dirt off with our hands because then you'll be able to eat it. There we go. Now it's all clean. Thank you guys. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Yeah. Okay. She wants to. Yeah. Hey, well, be careful. One finger, Lou. How was your kid? <laughs> what do you think? Let's go right over here. Let's see. Isn't that very cool? This is a vermiculture compost. It's a worm composter. You can either buy these. This has different tiers that lift off and you can um, build them up over time, or you can build your own at home with a piece of black Tupperware by drilling holes in the bottom and layering it in another one. This one, when I build them, I add newspaper, sand, and some soil, and I throw in a bunch of garden scraps and apples and whatever we have for food scraps. And the worms eat this, they break down the soil, and they make this compost that is really rich for planting gardens. This is also the, my indoor one I really like because kids can dig in it. So I have things right here where kids can dig. They can use these to actually put some of the soil in and some of the vegetables or things that are in there and look at it under the microscope. And when they do, they can see microscopic decomposing insects and things in the soil that you can't see with the naked eye. And so this has been, kids dig in here all the time and it's been a great thing to have. These guys are gonna eat your food. And then we can make a great waste that we can put in our garden. You wanna come look at this over here with me while you finish your care? Check this out. We're gonna put this under the microscope. This is what our compost looks like. Look up on the screen and watch. We can see if we can find our worm composting. Tell me if you see a worm in there. Right there. You're right. Those are the worms you just found that are eating the parts of your carrot that we put in there. Whether you're going to garden with kids or get them out in nature playing every day through the seasons or even having them interact with animals if you decide to have chickens at your child care or daycare center or an in-classroom animal, you're helping kids make these connections to nature that are lifelong connections that are important for them to grow up and become environmental stewards and love the world where they live. You're helping them learn biodiversity, um, different plants and species, and when they grow up with this love, they're more likely to help take care of the earth when they get older. Getting them out to garden just helps them learn to eat more nutritiously and um, learn about all the different types of plants that grow. It also connects them to different cultures by eating different things that different people grow around the world. So I really recommend if you can put a garden in your daycare, in your child care, whether it's a home child care, it'll really help kids nourish them, their spirit, their mental health, their physical health, and they'll just grow and flourish.